Yeah, hello, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. I need to say this, and you need to watch this video to the end. It's very important. You see, on Sunday, I was in church to attend a burial Thanksgiving service. It got to a point where the uh, man of God, you know, the Reverend Father started raising funds, you know, for church projects. And um, he pointed at a cathedral that they were erecting. So I went outside. I took a look at the church environment. I saw the cathedral, very gigantic cathedral. And I looked at the other side, the school, where the church had a school. It was just like, just something, I, I, don't, I couldn't call that a school. If that could be a poetry, it would be better. So I came right back inside. And the person sitting right beside me was like, ah, I should go and then support our friend. You know, people were making donations. I told him my decision that I don't donate to any church for any church project. If it is not school, if it is not for hospital, if it is not to create um, vocational centers for the people, for the church environment, I'm not donating my cover. So, sometimes when I say some of these things, some people think I am against the church. But the truth of the matter is that this is why many, many have, you know, turn their back against the church just for these very reasons and i have to bring it out to you because i am the mouthpiece of the people and the mouthpiece of the gods what our ancestors will have said to you when they are here is what they are saying through me the churches despite the fact that they are preparing the people for their eternal life after life what about here on earth what impact are you making so if you commit any thing, that is, if you if you commit any termite or whatever you call it from the dog, you show it to the dog. Now, there is a ministry that really touched my heart. I've known them for a very long time, but they have been part of this platform, BVI channel, when they've been part of it. They have been very supportive spiritually, financially, and otherwise. And they have featured many times on this platform. And today, the spiritual leader of that uh, ministry, that is Judgment and Transparency Ministry, um, called me as I'm talking to you, she's on her way back to Nigeria. To add value to the society she had been doing this and she had a message for you watch i'll be right back hello everyone uh, good morning good afternoon good evening uh from wherever you're watching uh my name is evangelist grace Andrew emmanuel i am a general mentor of uh, holy ghost school judgment and transparency ministry and by the grace of God, we are presenting our 2020 Youth Empowerment Program. And I want to use this medium to invite all the youths in the eastern side of Nigeria, especially in our nature, in Anambra State, in Imo State, uh, Abia State, Inugu State, and even Port Harcourt, Cross River, and um, Ebony State, any side of the southeast, um, the part of Nigeria. Um, this youth empowerment program um, is a vision I have after many years I've traveled outside the country and I come to um, observe that most of our youth are very intellectual, they are very smart children and none of them is lazy, they are very very hard working guys. A um, couple times I've come and uh, I saw them that many of them keep asking me for money and I don't know how to keep giving them little thousands of naira, which I know is going to uh, go far for them. And I started having passion and the vision came. 
that what are we do after preaching Jesus to them, after drawing them spiritually, after giving them all the spiritual empowerment, that I need to equip them physical. I need to watch them and follow them up based on their strength base and see the programs I can you know, initiate to them, empower them, support them, so they can able to be financial buoyant, they can able to cash out, and also they can able to be independent of their families, especially their parents. It's unfortunate that the parents will hustle to train the children in university at the end of all the university years, diploma or, um, or whatever, and at the end you, you don't have something doing. So um, that's what brought this vision and um, this vision of Holy Ghost School or Youth Empowerment is a worldwide vision and our headquarters is in, uh, in Nigeria, in um, Biafra land, in um, uh, Onecha, in Olifte. And at the same time, we have our headquarters in Canada as well. As well. And uh, if I may say, I have a passion for the youth. Last year, by the grace of God, I'm a mother of seven, and I have a lot of youth in my house. And uh, God has been using me to mentor youth for many years. It's more than maybe 20 years. And I come to this vision that there is something I have to do. I must impart to my generation. If not my physical kids, my biological kids, I have youth everywhere. And my passion is what do I do to them? So that when I look at them, I'll smile. By the grace of God, last year we did this empowerment and the features of last year was you know, is agriculture, under uh, agriculture, and uh, we teach them how to hash um, um, Congo meat, that is Ejuna, and uh, we did fishing too, and that last year we also did um, uh, household products, and we did in that household product, we teach them how to make soap, vaseline, and uh, insecticide, and the perfume. And you know what? I noticed that a lot of them, honestly, one of them eventually started the business. I bought one of her perfume, and it was wonderful. It's wonderful, and she's selling. So um, my joy is when uh, we involve people to come to teach them. This program is free. And the program is going to take place at Onicha. You will eventually hear more about the details. And um, there is a free accommodation, and there is a, a, a free feeding, and you come to learn. This is the vision. And by the grace of God, this year we are going more into um, more of um, one of our program this year is we are visiting, uh, one of the program is also agriculture, and we are visiting uh, poultry, we are visiting the, 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 the fowl poultry, uh, pig poultry, and fish pond. So we want people to see things happen live. We want, we, we want to do visual uh, um, teaching and visual uh, programs. So when people see it, they will, they, will, they will learn. It's better when you see things visual, you will learn faster. And also one of our second program this year is shoemaking. Um, I found out that there are some local shoes our people does and it sells. People are buying them a lot. So this year we want to involve shoemakers to teach these guys. You know, these are you, they're very smart kids. They're very, 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 very smart. And when you teach them something, they're very smart. They catch fast. So these are the things that they can start with a little money. So the shoemaker is going there to teach them how to make youths a, a shoe uh, for, for their ages. And also, um, at least they can sell it maybe 500 naira, 1000 naira. It's not too expensive, it's something that can be sellable, you know. And uh, the next thing we are going to do, which is the most attraction of it, is phone repairing that is in under technology. So we involve some guys that know how to repair phone very well. And uh, this program, we pay them money to come and teach the fellow youth. And you know what? At the end, we're going to select the, the best uh, students or the best uh, people that cooperate in this program very well after the general teaching. Another of the program uh, we're going to cover this year is um, ICT online, uh, e-business, and uh, online trading. There are so many, you know, business these days going online. So many of our youths 
they don't know much about it so um, it's something they can do they actually um these youth are amazing youth they are very smart they can learn fast so e-business is what is trending right now so these youth they need to um, if you are interested to know much on about online business in online trading this is opportunity for you and um, after that um, we are going also into health care system and um, how to take care of your health especially in this pandemic in this uh, coronavirus um, we want to teach our youth how to build their uh, immune system and how to eat healthy uh, and to live healthy and um, the final one is on um, I think I've said about ladies first letters um, we are dealing on fashion and designer we want to teach them how to uh, make the, the gele and um, yeah that is all about this um, this year empowerment uh, program you know so um, I want to also tell you that BVI we cover it live um, this is all I have uh, for this year youth empowerment um, as I said earlier I'm a social worker I learned so many things in Canada and um, I have to initiate what I'm learning to the youth to my people to the community and um, the goal is to build a healthy community to build um, a healthy society to less the crime in the society and to make everybody smile when everybody's cashing out everybody will be cool everybody will will be smiling everybody will be happy you know all this robbing and uh, 419 kidnapping and um, uh, yahoo you know all these kind of things will stop you know so um, I believe that uh, this program will give you a lot of um, um, insight it will help your life into a betterment and I promise you, your life will never remain the same Thank you and um, get ready for this program. BVI, we cover it live. God bless you. You see, this is exactly what churches are expected to do. This is what will develop Africa. This is what will empower the people. This is what will take the people out of poverty. It is not fasting and prayer. No, it will not take people out of poverty. This is what is called empowerment so i think i've said so much if you like this video share it like let me have your comments and if you have anyone within and around your nature let them be part of this i'll be there myself so i'm expecting you bring your people bring your loved ones let them be part of this empowerment program by transparency or judgment and transparency ministry i appreciate you all for watching share it let the good message spread across and wide this is true christianity all right so i expect you to you know bring your loved ones young people that needed this very vocational training free some people are even having um getting a scholarship and all the rest of them this is the greatest christmas you can give to your loved ones and people around you i'm signing out